The 85 Ways to Tie a Tie is a book by Thomas Fink and Yong Mao. The authors were research fellows at Cambridge on Overseas Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Cavendish Laboratory. It was published by Fourth Estate on November 4, 1999, and subsequently published in nine other languages. The book, The 85 Ways to Tie a Tie is about the history of the knotted neckcloth, the modern necktie, and how to tie both. It is based on two mathematics papers published by the same authors in the journals Nature and Physica A. The authors prove there are exactly 85 ways of tying a necktie and enumerate them. The maths, the discovery of all possible ways to tie a tie depends on a mathematical formulation of the act of tying a tie. In their papers and book, the authors show that necktie knots are equivalent to persistent random walks on a triangular lattice, with some constraints on how the walks begin and end. Thus enumerating tie knots of n moves is equivalent to enumerating walks of n steps. Imposing the conditions of symmetry and balance reduces the 85 knots to 13 aesthetic ones. Knot representation, the basic idea is that tie knots can be described as a sequence of five different possible moves, although not all moves can follow each other. These are summarized as follows. All diagrams are as the tie would appear were you wearing it and looking in a mirror. L, left. C, center. R, right. These must change every move. I, into the diagram. O, out of the diagram. These must alternate. T, through the loop just made. With this shorthand, traditional and new knots can be compactly expressed, as below. Note that any knot that begins with an O move must start with a tie turned inside out around the neck. Tie knotting examples. Knots. Equals selection criteria equals, of the 85 knots possible with a typical necktie, Fink and Mao selected 13 as aesthetic knots suitable for use. They made their selection based on three criteria, shape, symmetry, and balance. Shape, in Fink and Mao's classification, each of the 85 tie knots belongs to a particular class which is defined by its total number of moves and its number of centering moves. For example, the four in hand is a four move, one center knot, while the half Windsor is a six move, two center knot. Knots with fewer centering moves, less than one third of the total, appear narrower and more elongated, while knots with more centering moves appear wider and more squat. Due to the triangular nature of tie knots, the number of centering moves must necessarily be less than half the total number of moves. There are a total of 16 classes, ranging from 3 moves with 1 center to 9 moves with 4 centers, but only classes in which the ratio of centering moves to total moves is 1 6 or greater contain an aesthetic knot, eliminating 3 classes for a remaining 13 classes, with 75 knots. The most representative knot in each remaining class was then selected on the basis of symmetry and balance. Symmetry, symmetry in the case of tie knots can refer to two possible qualities, visual symmetry, and mathematical symmetry. Fink and Mao refer to the latter, even though some knots that are slightly asymmetrical appear symmetrical in practice. Only knots with an even number of total L and R moves can be symmetrical while the remainder of the aesthetic knots will necessarily have one greater L or a move. Balance, Fink and Mao describe balance as the extent to which the moves are well mixed, citing a tighter knot that comes loose less easily as its primary virtue. It is calculated by a particular formula, but can be best understood by the layman as the degree to which the L, R, and C moves are evenly distributed throughout the knotting sequence and the extent to which the L or L pattern continues uninterrupted after non-terminal centering moves. Each of the aesthetic knots displays these qualities. A number of knots are virtually identical variants, which differ by the transposition of L and R pairs. For instance, a variant of the half Windsor, Li Rusai Lo Ri Company T, is the knot Li Rusai Ru Li Company T, sometimes called the co-half Windsor. References to the half Windsor in the literature sometimes refer to one, sometimes to the other. For the purposes of the book, when a knot has at least one variant, the most balanced version is given the standard designation, while the others are labeled as variants, irrespective of qualities such as being self-releasing. Thus, 
the more balanced of the two half Windsor knots is given a lower numbering and the name half Windsor, even though the slightly less balanced co half Windsor variant is equally known as the half Windsor in men's style literature, and has the benefit of being self releasing. However, this is not intended to mark an aesthetic preference for one variant over the other, s. As the authors note in their journal articles, we do not attempt to distinguish between these knots and their counterparts. This much we leave to the sartorial discretion of the reader. Three of the aesthetic knots have the same symmetry and balance values as at least one other knot in their class. In this case, they appear to have been selected based on how evenly they distribute the unbalanced portions throughout the knot. This can be readily seen when one views these knots as combinations of two smaller knots, as the balance values of each component add up to the balance value of the final knot. In unbalanced knots where the balance value is odd, it is broken up so that the more unbalanced portion of the two is placed towards the beginning of the knot. This is probably intended to help the outermost portion of the knot keep its shape and remain tight. Equals the 13 aesthetic knots equals, the 13 aesthetic knots described in the book, in order of size, are as follows. Terminal sequences are in bold. The knots are sometimes designated by their number alone. A knot is self-releasing if, when the thin end is pulled out through the knot, no knot is left. As all knots start on the left. A knot is self-releasing if the terminal sequence is Rulee company. It is not self-releasing if the terminal sequence is low re company. Symmetry and self-releasing are in complementary distribution for knots with the greatest degree of balance for their class. Three common variant knots are as follows. They are included for their commonality, or for being self-releasing when their more aesthetic counterparts are not. The half Windsor and Hanover variants have the advantage of being both symmetrical and self releasing, but are less balanced than their counterparts above. Reviews The book was reviewed in Nature, The Daily Telegraph, The Guardian, GQ, Physics World, and others. References Think, Thomas M. Yong Mao. Designing Tie Knots by Random Walks. Nature 398, 31 Euro 32 doi. 10.1038-17938. Fink, Thomas M. Yong Mao. Tie Knots, Random Walks and Topology. Physica A 276, 109 Euro 121 doi, 10.1016 per second 0378-4371, 99, 00226-5. A B Encyclopedia of Tie Knots at Thomas Fink's homepage, Buck, Gregory. Why not not write? Nature 403, 362 doi, 10.1038-35270. External links, Thomas Fink's Encyclopedia of Tie Knots, Neckties Knots at DMOZ, Jeff Banks' tutorial on how to tie a tie.